and bring you guys some uh, new zombies video. This is basically a uh, storyline specula speculation video, uh, talking about uh, what's going on in the story, where we'll be going in DLC three, stuff like that. Uh, brought you guys some um, some gameplay some gameplay from the giant. I think I got to round twenty five. Uh, I uh, played this game this morning, and I thought I might uh, refer some pretty good gameplay. So, uh, what we're gonna be thinking, of, what we're gonna be talking about here today is, um, really just, uh, some things concerning DLC 3 and DLC 4. Now, what we've seen, pretty far things have been going okay for the group, so if you don't know what's going on, basically, uh, Origins Rigtofen is taking the Origins crew, and, uh, their job, and, uh, I guess you can say Maxis's plan, Maxis... Maxis and Rigtofen's plan is to kill off all the original characters from Black o from World at War and Black Ops 1. And, uh, they're gonna kill them off, they're gonna rewrite history so transit and all that never happens. Now, it's going pretty well, so in the Giant, they killed Rigtofen. In Derise and Drak, they killed Dempsey. In, uh, ignore the phone, if you can hear it. Um, and in... Uh, uh, Sasebo Noshima, we killed off, uh, Takio, I couldn't remember his name. So, everything's been pretty, uh, going pretty well, a little too well for the group. We're doing, well, we're doing pretty well. we gotten everyone. Everyone has really accepted this, except for Dempsey, who's unconscious, and, uh, you know, Big Toffin kind of got taken by surprise. And, uh, uh, Takio was the o is the only one who really she's like, all right, I'll do it. I understand what you what you talk about. So Nikolai, however, it, through this entire time, not a lot of people noticed. He's angry. He does not like this idea whatsoever. And there was a clue from Rick Toffin. It was just like, uh, um, Edward, Samantha, Maxis, they're safe. Uh, Dempsey too. Maybe t uh, maybe Takeo. And he, he also said. Um, what do you say? He said, Oh, Nikolai, why must you fight it? Which, this quote means that Nikolai does not want to get killed. So, what's gonna happen? I've heard a few theories. Uh, one theory was that, uh, that, um, um, Origins Nikolai is gonna kill himself, and that original Nikolai, the one that we all know and love, is gonna come along for the ride, he's gonna replace him. And somehow, they're gonna resurrect him, probably, uh, via Blood Vial or something. Uh, which, we'll get to the Blood Vials in a minute. Uh, and, well, I mean, they're gonna have to kill Nick, uh, original Nikolai. And I feel like he will fight this, and this is where everything's gonna kinda go a little bit wrong. And I don't know if we're gonna have to use the blood, blood vials at any point in time, but Rigtofen said it was their insurance policy. So if anything goes wrong, you pop the blood vial, you go back in time or whatever. Now I heard this uh, theory, the Smith Plays, who's another zombie YouTuber, go check him out. Uh, he said this, it was like on Reddit or something, he, he, was, he said it um, in one of his podcasts with uh, Codename Pizza, I think it was podcast number 95. I'm gonna go check that out. Uh, he said there was this one theory where it was just like, um, there, uh, this was the uh, interesting part, for me anyway. They're, uh, in like a Garth that they finished the Easter egg, everyone's dying. Now this theory is kinda like, disconfirmed, like, discontinued because it wouldn't work. Because what the heck? Oh, did I just, <laughs> I just skipped through the entire thing, hold on. Let me skip forward. Back to where we were. That's we were. Right. So, I tremble not before death. As I was saying, undead. we're saying like everyone's dying. You complete the Easter egg, everyone just starts dying. Like I can see like Dempsey like shooting like an LMG, getting uh, like overrun. Mexico like, like uh, Nikolai if he's in there like with the KRM like trying to stand off and like, Takio with his katana. And Rigtofen opens the blood vial, pops it. He drinks or whatever, and then the screen just goes white. And the spirits come to Rick Toffin's bloody hands, and he's standing at the workbench from Origins, where he just cut open Max's head. And three guys come in, and it's the original crew, and it just loops. 
I think that'd be amazing. I would absolutely love that ending. I would adore that so much. Now, I think that would be so cool. Just seeing that everything loops from Origins back again. Oh, uh, yeah, so... This is really gonna confirm, uh... I just skipped ahead again. I tremble not before death. Or undeath. Right. This is stupid. I hate... Like, I'm putting the controller on my lap. So it just, like, it just keeps on, like... So it just... It just keeps on, like, uh... Re uh, fast forwarding. So, what I meant to say was that I think this would be good, but Jason Blundell said that uh, that DLC 4 is going to conclude every th every question that we had for the past eight years since uh, World at War, which whew, that's going to be one this is going to be one heck of a map. And uh, map speculation as far as I, as far as everyone goes. I think, we all think it's going to be Argar Argartha or I'm still hoping for a moon remake because I'm one of the people that just loves moon. The dragon's fire burns and, uh, from within. Yeah, I, I like a lot of maps that the community hates. I actually like Festival of Nishima to an extent. I can take it. But uh, um, what else? Uh, oh yeah, um. I also like Shangri-La, that's one of the maps I do like too, and that everyone hates. I hate transit though, so don't don't think Once I like more. that. Um, also, map speculation, I love to see Moon remake. Everyone thinks it's gonna be Argartha, but what I think would be so cool is this. So we like start off in Doctor and Toten, and then we walk and then like by the health door, and then we get the box, and it has every single weapon from every map ever inside the box. I think that'd be amazing. And then, uh, what happens is, like, every few rounds you change, and you go to a different map, so... But it has to go in order, so you go from, like, not during Toten, and you survive, like, five rounds, and then you go to, uh, Verrucht, and then you survive five rounds there, you go to, um, Sh Shino Numa, then you go to Doris, then you go to Kino, and it just plays through like that. But it will not include, like, Transit or all of that, it will include Origins, then you go through the Black Ops 3, because everything's erased, so you wouldn't be playing on Transit, or Buried, or Die Rise. So, I mean, that would be actually really cool, I think that would be amazing, but everyone just thinks it's gonna be Argartha, and I probably will see, like, other, I'm not gonna say DLC formats, but like, other last maps, like, The Giant, which is not a DLC format, but it's, you know, the last map in the war. Well, not the giant. Um, Darice, which basically is the giant. So, I would really like it if it, like, included, uh... <coughs> every single map in the in DLC 4 has had a big impact on the storyline. Like, Darice. It's not really a DLC 4 map, but it's the last map. Moon. Then we've had Origins, so these have really impacted the storyline in a big way. Like, with Darice, we met Samantha and Maxis, officially. And, uh, we also got the introduction to what Group 935 actually was and what everything was going on. Like, at this point in time, in, uh, uh World at War, the storyline was still secret. No one really knew about it. There wasn't really people's storyline speculating like I am today. People were very... I don't know, just like... Didn't know that the storyline existed. Then in Black Ops 1, it became very clear. With the Easter eggs and all that, it became so very clear. And in Black Ops 2, it was even clearer. What you needed to do, especially with Rick Toffin talking to you if you were Samuel. So everyone knew, like, basically the storyline. But what I really wanted to talk, uh, like, one of the main points I wanted to talk about was, uh, the blood vials. What they are, I feel like, is a little version of the teleporter where you teleport back in time. This, it's like, this is like, you ha since I think they have two blood vials, not just one, they have two. I, I might, everyone might think that, I, I don't know. Because Richtofen has two blood vials, but what I'm really interested in 
is what this has to do with the Mob of the Dead characters, because the cell block numbers on the Blood Vials that Ritofen has in Origins and throughout everything else are the cell block numbers, I think, I, th I think Finn O'Leary and Sal DeLuca. I think those two, I don't know, it could be two other ones. But, I want to know what they have to do with this, because with the inner, because I really think through these interdimensional twines, I think somehow, some way, we'll definitely get closure to what happens in Mob of the Dead, what really went down there. Because with Mob of the Dead, there's two endings. There's the good ending, where Weasel survives and he walks away, and the cycle is broken. And then there's the bad ending, where the cycle keeps on continuing, and that's if everyone kills the Weasel. Which is actually... Not, and not the good ending at all. I, I, so, there's two ways that can go down. But I want to see what they have to do with all this. Because really, everyone thought that Shadows of Evil was just going to be like, oh, it's just like Mama the Dead, it doesn't really mean anything. And, but nope. Shadows of Evil sets up the storyline, like Jason Blundell said, for Black Ops 3. If Riftoffin doesn't get the summoning key, we don't go on this journey. Now, where the blood vials take them back to is another thing. I think they'll take it back to ZNS, or that's when I guess. Um, weren't really, didn't know what that acronym meant. I think it will take them back to there, because that's where they got the blood vials from. So, uh, let's see here. Alright, guys, I think that might be all I really wanted to talk about today. Uh, um, also, once, uh, oh yeah, I wanted to talk about one more thing real quick. DLC 3, supposedly, uh, July 9th, um, which is kind of far from it's June 18th when I'm recording this. I'm, I'm gonna have two videos up today, they're probably gonna be up by tonight, uh, they will be up by Sunday though, so two videos coming on your way. I'm sorry I haven't, I haven't uploaded in like a week from that stream. I tried to do another stream and it didn't work out with Chris was trying to do it was Elgato and it didn't work out and it messed it up and the quality was all bad and I wouldn't didn't get any gameplay because it was just like an hour of us trying to figure out what the heck was wrong with this computer so I didn't upload it like I up like I stopped broadcasting and then uploaded it and I just deleted it off the channel so uh yeah guys um DLC 3, real quick, what I think it's going to be, it's definitely going to be in Stalingrad, there's going to be something with dragons. Uh, I really hope they add the slash and burn in, because if you guys remember in the Origins trailer, uh, Nikolai was using a uh, an axe, and I really hope they add in the slash and burn as like a special melee weapon for, for that. Uh, I doubt they will, but that'd be really cool if they did. I, I would absolutely love that, because that's my favorite, uh, uh, melee weapon, that slash and burn. Because if I could get a weapon kit for it and put gold on it, I'd be so happy just to slash, uh, just to slash zombies in half with a gold axe. I think I would love this game forever. But yeah, guys, uh, that's really it. Um, as I said before, I think Nikolai is definitely going to fight this. I don't think he's... He might actually kill himself. I don't know. I, I really need to see, We need to just see what happens. I feel like uh, if we analyze the new Nikolai Memories trailer enough, we'll find something else. Uh, because DLC 3 Nikolai, so, you know. Alright, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this little commentary. Um, if you did, leave a like, subscribe. Really helps the channel out. Comment down below what you think of DLC 3. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.